Look at this, my gorgeous Gemini. Look at what the first oracle card is going to be when it comes to you and when it comes to May, my gorgeous Geminini, okay? I just want you to see this. I'm going to shuffle these tarot cards, I mean these oracle cards, and I am going to focus on you, my gorgeous Geminini, and I am going to focus on May, in particular the way May is actually going to unfold for you indeed. I sense something very powerful is going to take place. I sense something really important it's actually going to happen when it comes to you my gorgeous Geminini but in particular when it comes to your own reflection when it comes to your own understanding when it comes to your own power when it comes to your own energy the actual May is going to help you so much to reach an important decision but this is all going to happen through you realizing that the things are about to start changing no matter what this means to you. Do you see this? This is an important, important tarot card. It's saying forgiveness, which means that on another hand, it will be very important for you to stay as optimistic as possible. And also at the same time, when it comes to the actual May, karma in itself, little baby karma, it's going to be playing an important role indeed when it comes to things in your life, but also when it comes to things that have been happening around you that you might have been affected by it. So like, for example, lots of people around the world have been affected by this uncertainty and uncertain energies around us. So this card, this oracle card forgiveness means very, very important stage is about to take place. But also on another hand, karmically, it will be strong and it will be important for you to uh, open your eyes as much as you can throughout the actual May and try to kind of like also try to see the different side to things at the same time. You are going to be tested and this is a very important oracle card my gorgeous Geminini because you are going to be tested in May when it comes to your own karma and all that you also have to do is that at that moment of test most certainly something is going to be maybe like a little bit making you uh, angry or maybe unsatisfied or something is going to make you like a little bit frustrated at the same time but the way out of that situation it's not to like kind of go down with that low flow the uh, way out out of that situation it's simply going to mean and it's simply going to be the actual forgiveness it's important because that forgiveness is at the same time going to provide you with an important spiritual key that you otherwise wouldn't have another oracle card it's look at this important courage look at this my gorgeous Geminis this is a very very important moment in time you see this courage this courage the oracle card means that you are going to come across the situation in particular in between the actual 10th and 14th of May. Listen to me very carefully my gorgeous Geminis because there will be the situation in between the 10th and the 14th of May that you are going to come across and it is going to be a bit of like, uh, 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 like this when it comes to the actual uncertainty and that uncertainty within you is going to create a quite uh, unsettling stage or an unsettling point which is on another hand going to reflect on you like you are going to be tested in a way where you're going to lose your courage. With another words, an important situation it's going to take place my gorgeous Geminis you need to be as open-minded as you possibly can because this is going to be your door to way out of the negative situation but what you have to remember is that, like to have your eyes open be as open-minded as you can and have a courage 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 because through your own courage you are going to realize something absolutely mind-blowing indeed very spiritual very important very powerful moment in time because a lot is going to start making sense after this moment in time indeed and this is going to be in between the 10th and the 14th of May 2020 which means that on another hand this is all about the fact how you're going to feel like oh the worst is over the worst is over the over the worst is over which means that this is connected to the negativities it's connected to your worrying it's connected to your uncertainty but also your power was a little bit affected at the same time so the bottom 
bottom line is you will realize that the worst is over, but this is going to mean to you so much in every single possible way, indeed. But on another hand, you know, it's intuitively, this is immediately going to be connected to the moment in time when you're going to be a little bit like... Um, you're going to have to kind of uh, uh, work with this a little bit because you're going to need to use your own intuition because you're going to come across a bit of an indecisive situation. And this is all about you trusting yourself, using your own intuition, because at the same time, these few days in between the 10th and the 14th of May are going to be rather sacred when it comes to you expanding your mind, expanding your subconsciousness to a such an enormous and rather deep levels indeed, which is going to help you to reflect on things around you in a different way, a rather sacred way. And you will see exactly what I mean when those things come across in your mind, you know, that makes you like a little bit confused. Now you're going to find them rather challenging. And this is an important moment in time because it also means that at the same time you're spiritually growing and you're going to be spiritually growing indeed. And this is what is going to follow by the actual intuitive moment. You're going to need to be very intuitive because you're going to uh, uh, be provided with an opportunity, with a realization, uh, and that in itself is also going to mark an important stage in your life because there is a certain message that is going to come through after that moment in time. And once you get this message, this is going to be so important, so significant, so wonderful, and so powerful because you will know that this is all confirmed to you. Confirmation, confirmation, confirmation about speedy happenings and about the swift change of a rather stale time, rather quite a few stale moments that you had which kind of slowed you down and made you feel a bit uncertain and were also kind of taking lots of energy away from you. So this is going to be an important moment when you're going to realize the worst is over um, and then you, it's going to be followed by you trusting your intuition. You need to trust it like there is no tomorrow because you are. My gorgeous Geminini is very powerful when it comes to your intuitive moments, when it comes to your psychic feelings, when it comes to your third psychic eye. This is all going to be connected and it's going to lead to it's an important moment when it comes to the actual swift change, good news, a beautiful unfoldment of events, but at the same time, you know, it's just all going to be boiled down around the fact when you receive an important message, an important message, an important message is going to be connected to all this that I've said so far. Okay, my name is Sasha Bonasin, and I'm a psychic medium, and this is your monthly horoscope tarot card reading, and it's for you, my gorgeous Geminini, and it's for May 2020. So it's for you, my gorgeous Geminini, and it's for May 2020. And guess what's your number this month? Oh my lord. Number four, a contemplation, sitting down, thinking, wondering, making a decision out of like a complete, uh, kind of like a dark and a slow stage. Not completely dark, but uncertain and slow stage, which is something that you most certainly don't like when it happens to you, my gorgeous Geminini. So the bottom line is number four in your numerology means that you know, uh, common sense is going to take place. The big realization is going to take place. That big realization is going to make you very strong. That big realization is going to make you very powerful. That big realization is going to rejuvenate you. My God, you Geminini, like there is no tomorrow. It is the moment. It is the time. It is the energy that you waited for for a long, long, long time. So it's about the contemplation. My God, you Geminini is an important contemplation. It's going to take place. And this is so important important because this contemplation, it's also going to be the moment in time which is going to mark the free you, the moment in time which is also going to begin the creativity without you even realizing. And what else is going to happen? Number four means that an important invitation is going to manifest, an important opportunity is going to manifest. And this is what you're going to get and what you're going to realize that it's about to happen. And this about to happen, these words, it's about to happen, about to happen is just at the same time going to create a path, an invisible path that you're going to find yourself on. It's so important because it's about the approach, it's about the advancement and something very attractive is going to happen to you, something that you can add into your life beautifully, but also at the same time it's going to be connected to request and it's at the same time going to be connected to the challenge, proposal and proposition. What you have to remember is that this is the moment in time when you are, believe me or not, 
start, starting to regain your energy, starting to regain your power. And the common sense is also at the same time with things around you going to prevail. It's a very important moment in time because it's going to start putting lots of people back together. This is the actual moment of time when you're going to have a worldly power. This May, this is in particular, you know, the beginning of May is going to feel like a little bit strange, a little bit weird and bizarre, a little bit heavy. But then as we go over the first week, this is when the energy is going to start becoming a little bit sharper. It's important to say it's about the worldly power, it's an accomplishment, and it's the, the actual confidence, the return of confidence. I'm not saying that you didn't have a confidence, but I'm just saying that your confidence was affected in order for you to move on because your focus was a little bit messed up. But it's nothing to do with you. It's nothing what you have done. As I said, sometimes 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 in this life there are a lot of other things that can kind of benefit in this moment you know in us feeling in a certain way and also it doesn't have to be necessarily that we are the ones you know who are guilty for our own like uh, future planning and things like that there are lots of other things that can happen that can uh, affect us in many different ways but the bottom line is it's an important moment in time that you are going to have here when it comes to your own stability when it comes to you making an absolutely mind-blowing decision decision, you know, and that decision is going to be so important because it's at the same time going to test your own stability, but also on another hand, it's all about the power that you didn't feel that you had. And it's all about the confidence that I said that it's going to play, play an absolutely mind blowing and important role when it comes to you having that courage, courage, courage in order to move on with your life and in order to stay strong and in order to keep your eyes open. Indeed, you see, I'm just going to take this cards out now again okay simplicity look at this it's absolutely important but at the same time it is not about the simplicity you are going to be visited by somebody who used to be in your life by somebody who is in the spirit world and maybe that person may not be necessarily in your life that you know them that you remember them that person could have been in your life when you were a baby that person could have been in your life when you were a small child that you don't even remember however it is going to be the, the return the spirit and on another hand it actually doesn't even be need to be the spirit, sorry, the person who knows you or who remembers you. It can also be the wandering spirit, but a rather positive spirit which is about to enter your life beautifully, nicely, and it's going to surprise you with a little sign. So it could be the spirit that you know, or it could be the spirit that you actually don't know. It all depends what kind of energy you are going to have. So at the same time, when you see the little feather, or you see something unusual, or you see something bizarre, at the same time you know you will know that you are visited by somebody in the spirit world who is about to uh, trying to let you know that it's a very important stage it's going to happen which is going to lead towards your own personal gateway towards the way out of the situation that you don't like towards the way um, uh, towards the way out of the situation that no longer serves you anymore so it's an important moment in time you are going to be visited by the spirit there must have been an angel by my side Look at the sky, it's the color of love. Bam, 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 bam. You see, and now basically this is it. Now, when it comes to the actual health, my goal to Geminini, when it comes to the actual health, you also need to remember, very important to try to boost your immune system against cold and flu and things like that. So it's important to take an organic acerola cherry powder. It's what I always say, I know, I'm gonna say it again, or if you can take one little teaspoon in the morning and with a little bit of water and one little teaspoon in the evening with a little bit of water and this is going to boost your immune system by increasing the vitamin c in your body on another hand natural zinc supplement is just as important and also vitamin d supplement is also going to be very important because it's going to be good for your bones and it's also at the same time going to boost your immune system if you get like a little bit tired i would highly suggest to get like something like organic spirulina from hawaii or of course because it's the best and also organic echinacea it's some natural herb in a tincture form that I recommend you take it for six weeks you take it for two weeks you say take it for six weeks and then you take a longer break and then you repeat this process but you don't take it all the time because uh, your, it's natural supplements so your body would get used to it and then it wouldn't be as effective on another hand as as important Geminini you will be uh, very sensitive to aluminium so just to make sure that you actually use 
use a deodorant without aluminium in like a natural deodorant this is very important if you are on any other medications if you are pregnant or if you are breastfeeding you just need to check with your doctor you just need to check with your GP only your doctor or GP can tell you whether this can interact with your ex uh, medications or not I can also see just one more thing that the Geminini is there is a lot going to be going on but I can also see like that maybe like a sensitive uh, bones you know in general like when it comes to your hips when it comes to your lower back pain and also when it comes to your back in general so just to make sure if you are able if you are able to do like a certain exercises with yourself uh, sit in the correct way you know try to sleep on your side you know try to have a good quality pillow and also try to have a good quality pillow in between your legs and this is going to help you quite a lot as well okay so now my gorgeous Geminini. Now, basically, the very first date that I would like to talk to you about is going to be the 2nd of May. The 2nd of May is going to be like, oh my lord, because we are still in those brackets of the first week when it's going to be like a little bit heavy, a little bit strange, a little bit unusual energy. Just a bit of like, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, but then again, on another hand, the 2nd of May is going to reveal a moment, you know, an important moment. You're going to feel very special. You're going to feel very different you're going to feel quite unusual and then before you feel this you know you will know oh la la there must have been an angel by my side ba -da -dum -bum -bum. you know you will just know that this is something is going to try to let you know that there's an important advancement moment going to happen you know when it comes for the better indeed after the culmination there is going to come the conclusion you're approaching the end of the problem you know this is important because at the same time you are going to have a little bit of a bitter bitter tasty tasty in your mouth in your mouth when it comes to realizing um some kind of like a hidden enemy you know and some kind of deception but then again my darling you are going to realize a bit of a devil here but at the same time it's going to help you so much to move on and so much to go and so much to actually abandon the certain part of your life and this is so good because it's going to lead towards the swift activity sudden progress and movement this is an important moment because you are the 2nd of May, the 3rd of May, and the 4th of May are going to be important when it comes to you making an absolutely remarkable decision which is just going to be completely based on this particular situation okay so the second date my gorgeous Geminini but before I even go there I highly recommend you to get something like a Moldavite you know I recommended Moldavite before it's very important crystal to have these are very 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 difficult to get hold of sometimes you know Moldavites they're very special and very much different they're very powerful they protect you they protect you with grounding but they're also very brilliant when it comes to the actual your own personal spiritual evolution the energy is going to start changing here so therefore that might affect you a little bit so the actual Moldavite is brilliant because it's going to help you to spiritually grow it's going to help you with your own personal prosperity it's going to help you to make the important decisions it's going to help you with your own grounding it's most certainly a must-have crystal this Moldavite is very powerful this comes with a sterling silver wire around it and it comes with a sterling silver chain and the link to buy this is in the description below by buying things from my channel my gorgeous Geminis you of course uh, are supporting my channel as well the second important date my gorgeous Geminini is going to be on the 15th of May now the 15th of May is just a basically oh la la you're gonna feel like you've learned you've learned some kind of a lesson you've learned some kind of a lesson here and this is good, good, so good because it is just going to help you to grow with your personal growth but on another hand that in itself is going to start an important important moment of reflection 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 in fact if you can like kind of like meditate or if you can ground yourself and things like that on the 15th of May that would be absolutely wonderful because you are going to be going through a very important progress the outcome of the hard work is most certain is going, going, going to become quite evident here but most importantly you will be going through the spiritual progress which is going to help you with a, some kind of reorganization organization and this meditation is also going to help you to make an important decision the way you're going to do it how you're going to do it but also most importantly to single certain things out in your life that you should uh, pay attention to you need to remember to stay open-minded and to stay positive this is 
is an important moment in time when you're going to realize, you know, the certain reorganization is needed pretty much so. But the fact that you are going to have the re re uh, results of efforts are nearly due moment, you know, it's just going to keep you going because this is my gorgeous Gemini is most certainly going towards your own prosperity and well-being and luxury and the comfort, 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 which is also going to make sense here like there is no tomorrow. Okay, uh, the third important date is going to be on the 27th of May. My gorgeous Gemini, 27th of May, you are uh, going to start feeling attached to something, attracted to something, but it's to do with the way uh, you're going to learn something new. And this new thing that you're going to learn, you will want to take or you will want to take on a whole new level, on the next level. It's important because at the same time, this is to do, um, you know, this is to do with like, a, you know, the part of your life in the last 10 weeks, in particular 10 weeks, you were going through certain pain, you were going through certain maybe sadness, you were going to set certain dis um, desolation, you were going to certain like a maybe trouble. And I'm not saying, oh my God, oh my God, the end of the world. You know, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that these feelings were like quite enhanced, this feeling were quite vibrant and there were taking over other feelings without you realize this or not and then that prevents you from planning it prevents you from being excited or it prevents you from being who you completely are okay so that's why I'm just saying so it's important to say that this is going to be connected to the time in the last 10 weeks and this in itself is going to be very important because this is when things get just a little bit complicated because this is going to be important on one hand uh, you're going to learn something really significant but this is also going to start an important process that's going to take an, an additional two months but th th that doesn't matter it, the important thing is that you've learned something here something really significant and you are going to be able to turn that towards or into your own benefit yes there will be a bit of a tower situation little tower moment but that absolutely doesn't matter because this tower moment is going to be so important because it's going to bring a little sudden change but this sudden change is going to be so significant because it's going to do a bit of a shaky shaky momenty momenty when you realize uh, some kind of passion right in front of you but maybe you are ignoring it so now this is going to sh connect you to the part of your life that you should be connected to so that's why I'm saying because it's going to lead towards an important moment of the beginning an important moment of an adventure an important moment of enth enthusiasm my gorgeous Geminis and it's all about the new initiative it's all about the unlimited possibilities and also you know like a really important moment of just uh, 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 keep going and being excited and being happy about what you do uh, how you feel about things and and also like a very much so like a bright uh, option is just going to take over and this is just going to be quite significant moment in time when it comes to you my gorgeous Geminis indeed Okay, so now my gorgeous Geminis basically going on the very first part of May. Okay, so now. Look at the sky. It's the color of love. There must have been an angel by my side. But um, this is something, something, something that I highly recommend you to get. My gorgeous Geminis. It's some. Uh, it's that dry sage. Okay, um, dry sage is very important to actually try to get rid of the negative energy. So I would do this right at the beginning of May or somewhere in between. Uh, somewhere like a mid May as well it would require great time for you to do it because you are going to again be spiritually connected so that is going to open you up spiritually but on another hand it will be draining your energy if you don't take care of your own personal balance at the beginning of May I highly recommend to close all the windows my gorgeous Geminis like burn this okay put a little bit of like um salsa underneath i have to say this because this is quite messy you know and then as you go into every single room in the house you smoke it and at the end you just open the window and that way you cleanse your own environment and also you cleanse your yourself if you feel like a little bit sick or tired two or three days after this then that means that it's actually quite a good feeling that you kind of like a cleansed yourself so after this two or three days you're going to rejuvenate yourself and come on top of everything by feeling very radiant indeed you can buy this dry 
buy sage from my website the link is in the description below by buying things from my channel you're also supporting my channel as well so the first part of may my gorgeous Gemini, is it's going to bring you a very like an enlightening moment indeed in particular when when it comes to the way you feel you're going to feel something you're going to feel force and power that you didn't feel in a while and that is just going to kind of get your mind going you know and you're going to realize you will reach an important stage here but you need to remember to be efficient and efficient and efficient you know efficiency is, is important when it comes to the new beginning you will be testing in such a way where you're going to come across the new situation and you will just be oh my god i'm not too sure what to do you just have to keep going my babies you are protected there must have been an angel by my side ba -da 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 -da. you need to remember you're protected and this is the new beginning which is going to stay test your stamina and it's also going to create a moment of abandonment when it comes to the actual awakening at the same time which is going to provide you to have a, a rather nice and important rest after like a little bit of a vibrant time when it comes to thinking thinking and uncertainty it's all about the actual and important inspiration and potential that you are going to have the second part of may my gorgeous geminini it's all about the homecoming time you focusing on your home spiritually you seeing how you can change things to make you feel better every single thing that you do or change is going to count this is also going to lead towards an important moment in time when it comes to the actual turning point because it's all connected to the security that you didn't have before and also you are going to be able to do something that you were planning to do for an absolute ages and that is going to bring you the whole new hope the whole new inspiration the whole new bright prospects that you didn't have before and it's important because at the same time this is going to uh, be a rather vibrant moment in time when it comes to your own determination as well very very important moment in time you know there will be a challenge you know it around mid-may you know and and then through that challenge you're going to realize that you know it's not going to turn out the way you wanted it turn out maybe slightly negative maybe it will go slightly towards the different way because your realization is going to be oh well wishful thinking do you know why at the same time you know, fuck that. <laughs> At the same time, it's just all about the actual co completion as well, because through this wishful thinking, you are going to realize the very important completion is also going to take place. And it's to do with your success and accomplishment that you otherwise wouldn't see, otherwise wouldn't do, otherwise wouldn't even realize it's there. So it's absolutely brilliant. A bit of a yin yang moment, but most certainly the good moment is going to come out of it and take over the whole situation the last part of may my gorgeous geminini is it's going to bring you an unfinished business but this is something that you were doing and planning for the last few months something just didn't go towards the way you wanted it to go in particular when it comes to involving somebody else so when it comes to the unfinished business there is someone that is going to be connected to this and another person who is going to be playing an important role and it's important just to keep going because this is going to lead towards a significant success just remember 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 okay and that in itself is going to bring you strength that in itself is going to bring you compassion and most certainly it's going to be connected to the chaotic time of your life confusing time of your, your life that took over within the last few months and now this is going to turn out in a such a wonderful victory and mental clarity so the bottom line is the last part of May my gorgeous Gemini is it's going to bring you victory and mental clarity and this is such an important moment in time because you're gonna live you're gonna feel alive again i'm not saying that you weren't feeling alive again but you will see how important and how vibrant the actual energy is going to uh, uh, be here it is some kind of like a stage of a quite significant future planning going to take place with so much vibrancy and the return of focus a wake-up call is most certainly going to be quite significant here but you are reaching a very high level of your own personal radiance okay so now i'm going to shuffle these cards <clears throat> There must have been an angel by my side. 
Okay, so now basically I'm just going to shuffle these cards, my gorgeous Geminis, and I'm going to see, connect to those of you in relationship. Ooh, you see the very, very heavy stage is coming slowly to an end. Nine of Wands. Indeed, a very heavy stage is slowly coming to an end. And you were kind of like, uh, had to change your plans a little bit. Uh, they had, they, they, there was like a, some kind of change of direction at the same time that it affected you. The bottom line is that this month is going to be an absolutely beautiful when it comes to your own success, you know, in particular when it comes to materialistic life's uh, 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 finances and security. An important security is going to take place because it's going to come through as a quite strong realization. But the bottom line is that you're going to find yourself on an advanced level, in particular when it comes to the victory, victory, victory. Let me tell you something, my gold Geminis. It's just basically the difficulty is coming to an end, an important difficulty is coming to an end. And it's, sorry, it's both bringing you a stability. Okay, so this is going to be very, very good month for the couples. Okay, so now I'm just going to shuffle these cards and I'm going to connect to those of you Geminis that are actually Singalinis. <laughs> Geminis that are Singalinis. Look at this, look at this. Look at the sky, it's the color of love. Look at the sky, it's the color of love. This is amazing, my gorgeous Geminis. Do you know what? Because the things are going to start changing and things are going to start happening and there is a way out of like the situation that we are all kind of in that is already happening and happening as we speak but the most importantly do you know what it, it's this month it's going to play an absolutely crucial role because especially at the end of the month you know at around the end of the month something is going to take place something is going to happen and someone is slowly going Going to start walking into your life but it's going to happen at the moment in time when you make a decision at the moment in time when you cut something out of your life at the moment in time when you make a certain little readjustment when it comes to your life this is when this wonderful person is going to start coming into your life the hanged man it's a very important moment and it's a very important start when it comes to change when it comes to adjustment when it comes to your own rebirth but also at the same time when it comes to you looking at the situation from a whole different angle and that different angle is going to bring you and open you and unlock the whole new door for you this is all going to be very much connected and this person is about to walk into your life at a time when you least expect it but it's all set around the time when you get a great determination initiative strength you know power and success through the actual good news you know you're going to feel very very uh strong here and this is all going to be playing an important role for this person who is about to walk into your life and it's going to start happening at around the end of May. That person may not come and show themselves in front of you, hello my darling, you know, at the end of May, but it's the process that you're going to go through, that it's the process that you're going to start which is completely going to be connected to that person and it's going to open the door. It's going to happen at around the time when I said that unfinished business. This is all going to be connected very exciting moment very exciting moment in time for you my gorgeous Geminis indeed Okay, my gorgeous Gemini, thank you ever so much for watching my videos. I love every single one of you. I'm sending you brightest blessings, lots of love, healing and light. Thank you ever so much for watching my videos. Sasha Bonasin, Psychic Medium. Love you. Bye.